Hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. <coughs> On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with the down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules, simple enough, I should think, but do you need to hear them again? No, let's not hear those rules again. I don't want to hear them. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution, now the 26th. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also do something that I don't remember. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. I pressed A too fast. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... As if we didn't already know... <laughs> the lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. Cool. That goes double for you, Groose. Hey! All right, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Hey! Go and. Let's run, and hey everybody, it's Super Gamer 1121 welcome back to Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we finally got our Loft Wing back after we got it from the, from the Waterfall Cave, which is where Bruce hit it, so we wouldn't participate in the Wing Ceremony, but now we're here, in the Wing Ceremony. And basically, as the directions, as he was giving instructions, our goal is to chase that yellow Loft Wing over there, and it's got a statuette that we have to basically get close to it. So we have to get really close to it. And once we're like right there close to it, a little signal will pop up telling you to press the A button. And a scene will come up showing that you're about to grab the statuette. And we're going to fly. And this flying minigame is only one of two flying minigames that we're going to have to do. I'm not going to spoil the other one. This one is really easy, if you know what you're doing, and you're a good flyer. I'm not the best flyer, but it's pretty easy, and look, oh, we're almost right there. What the joke? Oh, you moved. I didn't like the fact that you moved. Wait, where are you? Where are you? Where, where'd you go? There you go. There's always a little yellow arrow when he's off screen like that to let you know where he's at. And now I'm flying endlessly because my frames, I believe, are dropping. Okay. Okay, there he is. And anyway, there's a second mini game that's gonna come on like in the second half of, of uh, our adventure. I don't know. Um, and it's ooh, we almost could have we could have pressed A right there. That one, the second mini game, is much more frustrating. So take this time to really learn the mechanics of flying. But don't worry, you'll be doing lots of flying in this game. Trust me, lots of ow, get out of my way. Lots of flying in this game. Um, because basically in this game, flying is your mode of transportation, like uh, Epona, uh, like the King of Red Lions and Wind Waker, the train in uh, Spirit Treks, the boat in Phantom Hourglass. So, this is your form of transportation here. So, I just wanted to quickly point that out. And what I also want to point out is how not good I am doing at this. I thought, I, like I said, I thought it was better. Oh, wait, where? We're like right there. We're right there. We're right there. Yes, yes. And here's the scene. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? And then Bruce interferes. Yeah, you heard him. 
Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. Something that I really actually wanted to point out is that if you look at everybody's, I think I, uh, I read this somewhere, everybody's uh, loft wing, it's like tuft of their, like the tuft on the top of their head, is actually almost the same style of hair that the, the writer has. So like Bruce's uh, loft wing has like that pompadour kind of look or whatever, so I just thought that was like an interesting touch on how they really reflect the personalities. But we're almost there, and you really want to just avoid the eggs, but it's not really difficult, and there we go, we got the bird statuette. Proves our victory today, and wait till Zelda sees this. And that was basically the wink ceremony. Got the sailcloth. Don't know why I sang that, but now you can jump from any height without fear of painful landing. It smells nice too. <laughs> I love that little line. <gasps> Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today, like you promised, Link. <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You... I do know what happens at the end, right? Uh, 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 oh. And just what are you thinking? Don't be silly, this is your big moment, Link. You have to jump off the statue. What? Look down, see the big round design of the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Leap off the edge right here. Oh, I read that wrong. Press B to open up the cell cloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your cell cloth. So ready to jump? <laughs> not, that's not called being ready to jump, that's called you're pushing me off the edge, and 
it's beyond leap of faith. This is what well, now we're falling, 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 and that's wrong. I didn't even open up my cell cloth. I didn't even hit the center or anywhere near it. Oh boy, I see you messed it up. Remember, you can dive off the edge by t you can control the angle by tilting the Wii remote. So basically, when you're falling, you want to tilt the Wii remote so Link falls in the area that you want him to. So let's just turn around, and now this thing is going to let us know how to use this L cloth again. And we're just going to... Oh, oh that's, that's that's dangerous. Let's just... Oh, this is dangerous, too. What are we talking about? Everything in Zelda is kind of dangerous. So we're going to fall down and... Oh, shoot, we didn't do it right. Oh, oh, okay. I thought we had to land in, in the center. But okay. <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, Link. Maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? 